Gimeneal Engineer and today I've got three more colours from the Gel Bottle Ink um, which are my second lot of colours. Um, we've got 270 which I'm looking for to replace um, CND Grapefruit Sparkle. Um, if you've watched my other videos you might have seen that I got um, Shimmer All Over One Step by Madame Glam which was pretty close but it was still more of a, a frost than a sparkle and you'll see what I mean as we go on. Um, I've got 133 which is an electric blue um, which is my second attempt to get the blue after a bit of a fail with um, 137 which looks on screen like I wanted it to, to be um, but is actually much brighter. So this one's darker, fingers crossed. Um, and then we've got V102 which is they get a pale sage green which is like the, the pale little sister of V89. So let's get swatching. So first up um, let's have a look at 270 which on the brush looks still like it's kind of frosty rather than shimmery um, just to refresh your memory. Um, these two here are CND Grapefruit Sparkle um, and this is on its own and you can see it's, it's quite sheer. This is over Satin Pyjamas which is the one that I've successfully replaced with other brands and um, this is the um, Madame Glam um, Shimmer All Over One Step and you can see it's more of a frosty than a glittery. So um, yeah, let's see how this one compares and I have prepared uh, a French pop off of the 90s by the looks of it. Look at the size of that free edge. Oh yeah, holy poor nails. Um, oh, and speaking of nails, if you're wondering what uh, this stuff is on the fingers, um, I'm still not sure whether to call it Dragon Slayer or Enter the Dragon or Mother of Dragons. Um, but I, I did just shoot this uh, yesterday, a video for this. So um, hopefully by the time you see this, you won't have to wait a long, long time. But there's all sorts of goodies on this, so stay tuned. Anywho, let's get on with the swatching. So it's looking nice and, and thick. And I have actually already used this on one of my ladies. Um, she's uh, very much a fan of the nude look. Now, I tend to put my um, pink over the white when it's like a sheer pink, um, just to, to try to dull down the white so it's not too pawny. Um, but mm, that's not gonna work with this because it seems like the pigment just is like magnetized to that white tip. Um, it's, it's a different look, um, but uh, no. That's not gonna work for French, unless I want to have like white, white, white tips. Um, so maybe back to the drawing board on that one. As for on its own, um, with gel bottle ink, um, you are supposed to give it a, a generous coat, which is what I'm doing here. Um, I'm trying to be generous, but also I'm trying not to get bubbles. And I must say that the consistency of this is much thinner than the other colours, probably because it's meant to be sheer, um, but it is a very, very nice subtle colour. The only problem with it is that it totally is showing up every single brush stroke. Um, so what I'm going to do with this, and there you can see it's, it's sheer, and you can also see lines and lines and lines and lines. Um, I'm going to give it a little while to settle and um, I'm not going to bore you with the five million coats of this that it's going to take um, to build up a bit of colour. Um, I will just keep on layering it up and then tell you at the end how many coats it took. So on to 133 and as with 270 I have already used this on someone. I am finding that this one is best when layered over 137. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one pop of each just so you can see what I mean. So if we just do the 133 on its own at first. And I actually, I bought this on the recommendation of, of Sarah R. If you haven't seen her channel, do it. Or if if you're in any way like not totally loaded and in danger of spending all of your money on nail products, don't do it. Don't go there. 
her um, her lovely manis will completely entice you into bankrupting yourself on nail supplies. Hell, like before I saw her videos, I was an engineer and like now I paint nails. So it just tells you how hypnotic her videos are. Um, anyway, so there's your first coat and I haven't been shy with it. You can probably see there that it is just a little bit sheer. And now applying over a single coat of 137 and yes that is, that is a single coat and it's uh, pretty much fully opaque um, so this is it over 137 and you could probably get away with a single coat of 137 but I do find that two coats is best just because in areas you won't have like perfectly even coverage with the best will in the world and uh, I should give you my tip top tip actually um, when you make messies like this um, in my silicon chisel uh, tool kit that I bought off of eBay um, it actually came as a set with one of these on it and these are quite good for swiping away your misses like so because they're just like a little bit flexible Ta -da! so uh, yeah I recommend um, definitely easier than uh, having to get a q-tip every time and same effect so um, anyway I'll get that in and get it cured and I won't bore you with putting a, a second coat on I mean that does look pretty good on camera um, just now um, but take my word for it to the naked eye you can see a, a few areas where it looks a bit uneven so I will be putting a second coat on this one and then I'll just show you what it looks like at the end but just to compare and contrast with the, the first coat you can see that it doesn't change this colour a lot because you put underwear on under it um, but it just gives you that opacity and it just gives it a nice bright pop and for me it transforms this colour into exactly the blue that I wanted so I definitely can recommend these two together but if I do happen to find the elusive perfect um, electric blue when I'm at their um, getting to know you tour um, in March in Manchester I will certainly report back and tell you what number that is and finally uh, V102 which you can see is this lovely pale kind of sagey green colour and as with all of the the cream colours that I've seen so far from gel bottle it is virtually opaque on the first coat even with my naked eye I can only just see my fingernails through there and uh, yeah, it's a really, really, really nice colour. And just to compare it to the 89, which is like the darker version, you can see that they go really nice together. This is maybe a bit more kind of fresh and pistachio toned, whereas this is a bit more kind of like muted, slaty and grey. Um, but I have used them together in a mani and they looked real nice. So let's just see what we've got out of the lamp. Um, this here is um, 133 on its own, two coats, and I don't know if you can see there, if I just, uh, it's really, yeah, you can probably see that, it's still sheer, whereas this is just one coat, um, it's completely opaque, and there's not a huge difference in the colour there. Um, I am going to put the second coat on here um, and I'll put some more coats on this and then I'll just report back um, if I can get full opacity. So after the first coat is cured on V102, you really can't see my finger through it. I can only just see a very slight patchiness with the naked eye. Um, I would think that if you're wearing this like over an enhancement or like a... Um, like a cover nude, like maybe one of um, the gel bottles builder in bottle uh, colours, especially the lighter ones, like 18 or 19. 
Um, I would think that you could probably get away with a single coat of this. It is that opaque and responds very well to being applied fairly thickly. So um, anyway, I will cure that up. Um, but like I say, one coat could be enough um, depending on your nail type. Okay then, we are all cured up on our pops and here are the finished articles. Um, first up, 270, which I was mentioning, well, I was hoping to use as a replacement for CND Grapefruit Sparkle. Um, and it's just, it's not quite, just like with uh, this one here, which is Madame Glam Shimmer All Over. Um, the emphasis is more on frost than glitter. It's very, very nice in itself. Um, it's a very, very jelly um, shade. So um, this is actually four like super thick coats on there and it's still see-through and that's how it's meant to be. It's meant to be a sheer color. Um, but you can see that it's just, it's, it's not suitable for um, a, a kind of subtle French manicure. You would have to put your white over the top. Um, thankfully for me, I've got an airbrushing kit so I can actually airbrush French for the, the few people in this like decade who actually want them. Um, so as much as it's a lovely color, I do believe I'm gonna be keeping this as a granny gloss. Um, you know, when, when I don't mean to be disparaging, but when you're ladies who are not into like kind of um, super like funky or like mega modern stuff, they just want like a plain color and stuff. Um, but they want something that's like a little bit shimmery. This is a perfect, perfect, thing to like top off a, a pink or a nude or whatever um you can just go over the top just to give it that little kind of nice shimmer and sparkle um on to 133 all in all really really nice colors and i should just mention that that's the one that's on its own that took like four thick ass coats to get enough opacity for someone with nails like me where the tips are quite white um, and that's with um, underwear of 137 and just to actually show you against my skin tone actually which I didn't before you can see that this one here with underwear just kind of pops a bit nicer and forever the 270 is going to be called Grand Gloss isn't it? Oh, what have I done? Um, you can see it is this really 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 nice shade though and finally we've got V102 and this is what she looks like against your skin tone and in comparison to this one on this side which is V89. I hope you had fun watching this video. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time. Oh,